Hello, I am Deathseeker512, and in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to release your mod. Now, just because I'm showing you how to release your mod does not mean I'm done with the series. Uh, I have a couple of people asking me to uh, how they should go about releasing it, or actually just how to do it. And so, that's what I'm going to be doing in today's tutorial. So, I will paste this uh, this url in the description that way you can just go there and then hit select all and then right click copy but what you want to do is go into your mcp directory and first like run the recompile.sh if you're in unix based system so mac as well and linux but if you're on windows run recompile.bat it would have the same icon as the install.bat that was in the forge directory in here. So in the MCP directory, as I said, run the recompile.bat. And I will be back after this is done doing that. For those of you who are new to Java, um, watch this next part. If you're not really new to Java, and this is just going to be explaining what compiling means, um, but skip ahead for like maybe 30 seconds. Anyway, what compiling is, is taking code that you can read, so all the codes that we have done, and sorry I went off camera for a minute, but... Anyway, what it does is it changes it from what you can read to what the computer can read. And so, I sorry, I <laughs> went back to there. Uh, now what you want to do, now that it's done, don't worry about it saying, can I find server sources, uh, try decompiling. Uh, don't worry about that. Anyway, what you want to do is re-obfuscate. Uh, and also, depending on where you are, dot bad or dot sh same thing as before now what this does is it makes it harder for you to look at the class files and read it or use something to decompile the classes um, they would have to change each individual things the actual definition for obfuscate is well actually Um, U S C A T E, which I mean, it's like to bewilder, render obscure, unclear, or unintelligible. Darken, obscure, confuse, cloud, dim, be cloud. Yeah, <laughs> that that's what it means. Uh, you can interpret it to, as long as it goes with that. Anyways. I uh, will be back once that's done. Of course, as soon as I say that, it's done. <laughs> oh well. So what you want to do now is go back into your MCP folder and go to Reop in Minecraft, and this is where your mod's at. Even though it's in this folder, and then this folder, and then this folder, and then it's all here, you want to stay, anytime you make your jar file, you want to have it from all the files from in this Minecraft folder. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually go here and open up an archive manager, so 7-zip uh, and so on, uh, RAR. And then you want to do new and then name it your mod. And then whatever uh the version is so v1.0.0.0 .0 and i will choose other go in here um travel projects forge mcp and just so it's in here or yeah and open then i will create that then just drag the folder into here, but we're also going to have to create a new file. 
So you can use Notepad or something. And name this MC mod dot info. Um, if you're on Windows and you know how to do this, it has to have a dot info. F so open up like Notepad and when you save it, save it as MC mod dot info. And I will just open this up and paste the code from here. Again, it will be in the description. So what we're going to have to do is change all of this. So back in our mod ID in our Java file, uh, again, I would close all others. Without saving, file open. And let me go and look into our base class to mods. To mods. And in here, in here, no, in here, the mod ID was this. Don't know why I didn't remember that. So the difference bet well, between the mod ID and the mod name is if your mod is several different names, uh, several different words you can actually put, or if it has certain characters like that, you can have them in here and you can put spaces in between each of the things. So in the about mod, you want to have like, sorry, the description, uh, put a description to your mod. So that I'll actually I'll be back whenever I get done typing okay and now that I'm done with that I will just type out the version and then the MC version so the version of Minecraft this will work on which is 1.5.1 .1. then the logo file if you have one uh, I don't actually I could just use mine so I'll just do slash mod slash t u t slash mod slash logo dot p n g and then the website of well your website or your it it says it. <laughs> Anyways, so what I will put in here is you know, I just do it and then or you can just use like the place where you can get the mod at. And then the authors, again, who made the mod, you can have this as several different strings in here with commas separating them. So, and then who you give credits to. Um, I'll be back whenever this is done. And then the parent is like what mods needed. And for that, you would do like the base mod. And then screenshots would be the same as the logo file. Anyways, save that. Uh, let me close out of this and add it into here. Okay. And another thing we're going to have to do is go into the source folder in Minecraft mods. Dot mod. And then add the textures into here I'll be back in a second okay and you saw how I had a logo in here before uh, what I'm going to use for that is just my like YouTube logo except you know just that and it's already <laughs> Alright, uh, so I will just copy and paste it here. Oh, 
this? What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it just doesn't like me. And then rename. I'll be back whenever this is moved. And so this would be the file that you upload to a file hosting place like oh Dropbox or what was the other media fire. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and copy this and go to dot minecraft and paste this into my mods folder just to show you guys that it does work if it doesn't then I will let you guys know here in a second it's a minor issue um so this is what I ended up changing the uh MC mod info file into and yes that did actually look at Pat Mars thing apparently what this guy had was wrong so this will be in the description that way you can just copy and paste it except I might modify this that way it's more user friendly like this so now if I load up Minecraft but there wasn't really an issue with the mod per se, it was just the MC info file. So I will again load up Minecraft and show you how that our mod is in fact working. Okay, so now that Minecraft is loaded, I'm going to go into mods and in here. Oh, well, I thought I saved this. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I did put add version and then the add sign again, but then it has it right there anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. And if you know here, you'll notice here, the logo file is in fact here, and, well, mod ID, tutorial, mod state available, credits, author. Now, the URL, you want to have it like, I, I know I said it was some, supposed it should have been something late earlier, but... Um, in actuality, you want it to be the, like your YouTube URL, I guess, or you should have it at your Planet Minecraft place. So, now what I will do is I will make some minor adjustments, like save that instead, and then I will change this to the planet minecraft thing I will heavily comment everything in the source file I will include the sources in the zip file and I will upload this probably to Dropbox that way you can just get it instantly and so this is the end of this tutorial if it helped you at all please give it a like if it didn't give it a dislike if you want to see more tutorials by me subscribe have a good day or night or whatever time it is. Bye.